operating on a frequency of 52 megacycles by authority of the Federal Communications Commission. A test program follows. Uh, I can't see now. So that I'll is you. <laughs> right. So, uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, misclick on my part. So, great couple of games from uh, Repow, uh, Silvamo, especially like the uh, second game, the blue game. It really was uh, anyone's game. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to move to a section which we're going to talk about the results of tournaments and then finally we're going to go to the top cut for Cope. So those few remaining of you here watching the stream, give us, we'll go through a couple of the tournaments and then we'll get up to this, probably 10 minutes and you'll get your cut positions. So first of all, the Swindle guys and girls had a tournament a few days ago. Uh, the winner was uh, Biddle Bazaar. I'm guessing from, Mass 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 from Massachusetts, as I'm trying to say. Uh, you got, do you have the details of the event? Was it a sealed event or? It was a single adaptive. It was a single adaptive key forge in preparation for the Coat Seven event. No, Coat Seven for the K KPL, KPL event, event. Oh, Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's what well, it was a good tournament. Uh, Karen versus uh, Strange Gizmo because Bido Bazaar is the French name for Strange Strange Gizmo. Ah. There you go. You learned something today. <clears throat> And yeah, uh, uh, I've actually got a detailed report from Karen. Just give me a second. There we go. So, best of one adaptive. Uh, uh, Biddle Bazaar took nine chains on Karen's deck. Uh, unfortunately, however, their first turn play was the Logos Leaders and Zizix, which oh. negated the chains. And allowed him to maintain speed and just control the game. And Karen was unfortunately not able to come back from that. They had That's 14 participants. They all did really well. And as we said, Keyforge Kelvid was also there. You'll see him quite a lot in tournaments. You'll see slogans and other people. A lot of tournaments, you'll see a lot of regular faces. Uh, they haven't announced what the next Fortnite's event is going to be. But there's some amazing... There was an amazing event, and I'm going to try and get a couple of games from that recorded and put them up on YouTube as well when they next have their event. Definitely. That'd be great to see. And so hopefully we'll be able to send ourselves occasionally. Uh, yeah. So is it, uh, we'll hopefully announce next week, be able to tell you uh, which the events, what the format's going to be for the following Sunday. But yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, exactly. So moving on to the second one, which of course I've not queued up at all. So one <laughs> second. Uh, do, 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 do. The champion of the Crucible by the Society of Logic and Reason, aka Solar. There was a lot of games that happened this week. I took part in my first game this week. I went up against Jupiter, who was playing a seven sin deck and just completely destroyed me. So I'm still down at rank zero. There's been, there was a lot of back and forth between the tops here. As I said a bit earlier, Jupiter was hungry to get to that top point. He took on uh, Mendaps for the top spot multiple times. Uh, Zenzizix took it from Mendaps, uh, but uh, no, so the the, game, the biggest game was uh, Ahida versus Zenzizix, Zenziz which I've got my little script for. Basic, uh, it was a good game. Ahida didn't get much Amber down, just was just doing a lot of archiving, a lot of archiving, a lot of archiving. Zenzis got two keys ahead, was generating combo, was a good momentum in the game, was getting close to forge the, fir the third key, but then noticed what our, uh, our header was doing. For those of you who aren't aware, our header is Bidul Bazaar, and what was happening was he put down two epic quests, and every card that he'd been archiving since the beginning was Sanctum. 
So he forged the first key, went Sanctum, and then slammed down seven Sanctum cards and won the game with two san with two epic quests. Ooh. I'd have loved to have actually seen that go down. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, so... The current champion is JPCL Lima, who I believe is, was in the chat, my left. Uh, they're on a winning streak of three. If you are interested in joining that and dethrone the king, please do join the, their Discord and send them and tell them we sent you. Always, yeah. Uh, we'll try and get it queued up properly for next week. So, uh, and then finally, uh, we are gonna we, we move on to what uh, all fifteen of you left are wanting to see is the cuts. So. If we just jump back to here and then go for this one so can you see my screen Brett uh, on discord yes preferably on discord <laughs> uh, no I can't see your screen on discord I can see I can see your screen on the stream but I can't see your stream on Oh, you see, that's what I mean. You see what I see on, see on, on, on the stream. I know what this was. Yeah. 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 So, well, yeah. Okay. okay. So, guys, we're going to go through the five cuts now, or four and a half cuts, as I, as I, I keep referring to them as. Um, Death by a thousand cuts. If a team has dropped out, um, they are listed here as dropped, and the opponent goes straight on. Um, we decided we didn't want to go through and try and rebalance this to make sure, okay, this team has dropped, therefore we'll make this team from that group then go through. Uh, we've just, it was just getting too complicated um, for my little head last night. So what we have and, is this... And no one in the top 16 dropped. That's... Yeah, which, which is unsurprising, really. Um, so what we have here is we have Team Katsina from Brazil who are playing Hamburg Atlantians 3. We have Hamburg Atlantians 2 who are playing No Kind of Fans in Austria 2. Bearing in mind No Kind of Fans uh, Hamburg Atlantians it's, yeah, yeah, it's incredibly blurry and a bit small. You might want to zoom in and sure hopefully get is the quality better? a bit better. Yeah, that's a lot better. Awesome. So, um, Novak Hamburg Austria 2 playing Hamburg Atlantians 2. Bearing in mind, Hamburg Atlantians 1 were the champions of the previous event. They haven't made it through. They are in the second cut. Then we Yay, have... Yay, second cut. <laughs> Yay. Uh, then we have Keyforge you'll Granada. Get, you'll get that a little bit later on. <laughs> the Keyforge Granada versus Lickle from China and Hong Kong. Uh, so that's great. I'm looking forward to seeing that game, definitely, if you can, if you can get a recording of it. Uh, then we have OG Midrash Mavericks versus ABR. We got five on it. Mm. Moving on, can't touch this. The Urchins are behind Reap Out. Yes. Enjoy, guys. Uh, London really Urchins, good. Weird Science versus Team Smith Saz. Uh, Old Guard, who are an, a, a team from multiple places versus Not Finished With Your Mum from Italy. Not Finished With Your Mum came second in Coke 3, I believe. Uh, and then we have Team Zazine, 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 Zick. Which is just in blind, just as blind and friends versus Starship <laughs> Boosters from France. Uh, the London Urchins versus Team SAS is going to be quite good. I think that's the one that the Screech Bombs are going to be covering for us. Awesome. I, I think they're all going to be awesome. We're just waiting to. Uh, really, I mean... really, if, if we could get enough people doing commentary, I'd love to cover all the top 16 games all the way down to the final. But you're not allowed to do it by yourself. We've been through this. So if we could get enough people doing commentary, I don't mind recording them and then sending them out to people. <laughs> so, get them in by midday on the 11th. I've got a reminder here. It's top 16. I've got a reminder here. The link is here. The link is here. There is also a, a link here. And, and just results. underneath the link, it says by midday Monday. <laughs> yes. On the 11th of January, GMT. Exactly. Sorry, guys. It's been one of those weird weekends. <laughs> So we move down to the second cut, which of course is the most entertaining cut, and of course that had the most right. drops because people do a lot. Of, the competitive oh, people went down. Give me one second. Let me just uh, look in my. I, I was looking at the top. I was looking at the cut there. Um, the Hamburg Atlantians three are the ones that took us out. It's like we lost, yeah, boo. But then we would have been up against the Brazilian team, and they have been smashing it this season. So I'm yeah. a bit happy that we didn't get through to the top cut. Yeah, we're happy. That, that's what we're going to tell people, right? Cool. <laughs> okay, we're happy. So here we have SCS Sharks, who's uh, another team with uh, the Crazy Killing Machine admins in, who are reversing Team Labwork in Hong Kong. Team Labwork have been other regular high finishers in from the Hong Kong area. The French Imp versus Coast to Coast. 
They can't touch this. I can't remember who they were playing, but their opponent dropped. So they won't have a game this week. They've got to play ABR Furcoats by the 18th of January. You got two uh, weeks for your game. Team Auto Encoders. Uh, again, their opponent dropped. They're in Hong Kong. They'll be placing Solar. Playing Solar, the guys who are running the Champion of the Crucible. Uh, mm. Again, you've got two weeks to arrange your game because your first rounds are dropped. Uh, no Caravans in Austria UA1 uh, are going to be playing the final swing of La Mega. And we are going to be playing the Hamburg Atlanteans 1 previous champions. After playing Hamburg Atlanteans 3 last round. And getting completely uh. beaten in my case. Actually, yeah. no, we, actually, our game, we've actually got our games recorded by Screech Bombs. Have they, <coughs> bombs, have they managed to. Um, the they're going to get it. They're going to get to them to me as quickly as I can. They're going to be out on YouTube on Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So oh. watch me completely screw up my last turn, and then realize I hadn't screwed up as much as I thought I had. But I was going to lose anyway. Uh, so. Yeah, uh, uh, it, it it was a very bad matchup for us, uh, but it was a learning experience, and that's what's key. We went up against an incredibly competitive team. It, it was fun, and we learned. To, yeah, we learned a lot from it. Uh, we're going to come back in co eight to win. We're going to come back in co eight. Full stop. <laughs> <laughs> so now we move to the third cut. Here we have uh, Jizzles Chosen versus Seeker Noodles. Beer Forge from Spain versus Team World Wormholes. Beer Forge uh, were the last get team to report at one minute before my artificial deadline for them last night. I think they got the second game in. They do uh, like cutting it close. Yeah. Uh, SCS Dealers versus Screech Bomb, which will be an interesting derby because they're both two teams who are very close to each other. It, yeah, if it wasn't for COVID, they could have probably met and played this in person. I think if they're going, for, probably they argue it's exercise. They probably could. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> BB, not that we recommend that, and we recommend you follow government guidelines to the letter. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't go at it to uh, beat the game. And then we have BBB versus Team Weekend. Then we have D20 from Vietnam. Great to see more AP teams versus Baywitch. Autocannons Italia. More Vietnam teams. Oh, they're, they're promising us more teams next time. Autocannons oh, Italia oh, versus Toads. Sloppy Lab Work versus Manchester Mavericks A, and then Keyford Friday's opponents have dropped, and so they move up. To, uh... Surely they should be at the bottom of that bracket, not the top. Who should be? Keyford Fridays. Do I ask why? Because shouldn't Manchester Maverick A or Sloppy Lab Work take the top spot, and then Keyford Fridays be at the bottom? In the next to cup, in the top eight. Sorry, I'm I'm I, I'm missing your point, man. Let's talk afterwards. <laughs> it, 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 it's just a uh, <laughs> a semantic thing. Oh, I see what you mean. The key for Friday should be there. Yeah, whichever team qualifies first goes into the top. I see what you mean now. Ah, whichever team qualifies first goes into the top. Okay. I, I could change that, but that's an awful lot of work for benefit. Like I said, it's semantics. It's semant It's not. It's a visual thing. Yeah, it's, it's gonna it, it's gonna bug me next week when I go back and they're gonna be in the wrong positions. Oh joy, that's the only reason I do it, man. Control the leak versus Felchin Welshman. Uh, Kluski from Ukraine versus Five Lies of Disc, one of our international That'd be teams. Barcelona Mamuts versus the Niffle Shufflers. Portuguese Generosity versus Better Call Cota. Hitnaki Frauds versus Les Poirs. Hey. Ganymede Archivist versus PNW Power. ABR Trooper Cools versus Branthron Rue. And Bootcamp X2, again, get the automatic buy because there are only uh, 15 teams to make sure we have the even number in the next group. A lot of American on American teams. Shows how many American teams we have. Oh, that's yeah. more by uh, pairing than uh, <coughs> by luck, I'd say. And we finally get onto our mini group. Ah, uh, Top Cup 5, the best Top Cup. Fifth Cup. So there's four teams here, so we decided to give them a little bit of a breather. Um, they've got two weeks to play their games. So we have the Syndicate from Portugal versus Key Frogs from Denmark. We have Manchester Mavericks B, who are from the UK, Manchester, and they'll be playing Brain Games LV from Latvia. Uh, and the interesting thing is Brain Games LV are runner-up in, I think, Coke 2, and Manchester Mavericks B oh. are traditionally very high-placed teams. So it's, it's interesting yeah. to see them here at the bottom. Um, and they'll be fighting it out for the end of the fifth cup. So that is the cut we have set up. Um, this website will be pushed as soon as this stream goes, so give it 10 minutes after the stream is finished for it all to be live. If you want to see which deck your team is using, click on it. Wait a second, because it's all running particularly slowly on my, it's all running locally, and it will show you here on the team page. Exactly. 
So, let's do top cut matches time. are best of one. So, all matches will be best of one. Uh, just to keep things simple. I think we did adaptive back in Cope Three, and that's when we did the Tesla it, event, though. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah. And okay. Yep. So that that's all we have for this week. Uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna get the uh, ch we're gonna get the group the channel set up on Discord for any Coat Eight questions. We can only see they're flooding in, just so we can sort of separate them out from Coat Eight chat and people looking for teams, so we can get the public forum sort of set up. <laughs> uh, Kong wishes to show his uh, trophy, but oh, he wants me to show the trophy. Uh, okay, give me one second. I will show. Let him show off his trophy. <laughs> it's too late so now. You've requested uh, it. It's I, happening. I will get the trophy up. Um, so we have a, a few trophies for champions of events, uh, and in this case for Mr. Kong, here we can see Mr. Kong's uh, quick quote quiz one trophy with our new trophy design that came in up since Christmas. Um, we have a few other teams for trophies. There's only two teams with multiple trophies. Uh, one team won two events, and the other team is my test data team. Um, sloppy lab work. Thank you for that, guys. You've only won one event, but you've got two trophies because you're my test data. Uh, and here we can see Andrew's proudest achievement so far is uh, Coke Q1. And of course, not tonight if she's still there. She does have the Coke Q2 trophy, but I can't remember which team she's in off the top of my head, which can't touch this team she's in. But, also, uh, speaking of which, if yep. you have team stickers or team merch and you're interested in trading with Sloppy Lab work for their team stickers, do let them know in the, the Coke Discord, because we were asking about it earlier. They've just had some new stickers made, and they're eager to swap with other teams and sort of create a collection yep. of team, team stickers. Uh, uh, not I, tonight, since it's raised by wolves. Uh, raised by wolves. <coughs> okay, so let's put raised by... Okay, I have to spell it better than that. There you go, quiz two, trophy. Um, so as you can see, that's this. But yes, yeah, sticker-wise, we're also talking about getting ourselves stickers. We're also looking at what other merch people may want. We do have a handful of play mats left from our Coat Four order, uh, which we broke even on, ish. Mm. Yeah, ish. no, we didn't. But close enough, but we've got, I think, four or five mats there if anyone's still There's been, there's been so much interest in the sleeves that we have thought about like getting them ourselves, and Josie is working on more versions of the Coat 8 tarot cards, but it's a case of we need to know the community wants them because we don't want to put the money in and not be able to break even. We don't want to make a profit. We don't want to be overcharging people. We just want to get the money we invest back. Yeah, uh, and that's <laughs> the key thing here, guys. Um, so yeah so guys i think that's all we've got for today we're coming up to half past the hour so let's end it here brett cheers everyone um i just welcome get this website pushed and uh we'll i'll find the raid while you run the credits awesome credits awesome idea